What is good YouTube, watched you here with a video on the Justice League movie. So we've got some more official Justice League news. Well, not 100% official, but it might as well be official. So Josh Whedon has been given his writing credit inside the Justice League movie, which to me is pretty interesting. Why is it interesting? Because the reshoots are taking 12 weeks, then they have the CGI editing and all that kind of thing. So if Josh Whedon wasn't changing anything with the reshoots, why would he be given official writing credit alongside Chris, alongside Zach? So it's interesting. So Josh Whedon will be listed in the screenplay. So... There must be some reasoning why Joss Whedon will be on the screenplay. So for everyone saying that Joss Whedon is only doing what Zack Snyder told him, uh, I think there's partially some truth there. I think Zack Snyder is still the main guy on the Justice League movie. But for Joss Whedon to uh, get his credit on a movie tells you that there's some significance to why that's happening because if it was just a case of him doing exactly what Zack Snyder wanted him to do then I don't think he would be getting official credits on the Justice League movie but I think once we've all watched the Justice League movie in November I think it will be quite apparent what he actually changed seeing as he worked on like I suppose you could say the Avengers movie and things like that. So I think once we see the official movie, we'll be able to know exactly what was actually changed. It's been reported that Joss Whedon has changed Cyborg's role, made him given a bit of tone, changed the tone of the movie, taken Darkseid out of the movie because he wants Darkseid impact to be more intimate on the, like the next Justice League movie, even though this isn't a two-parter. So taking a dark side out of the movie for me makes absolutely no sense but i think out of all the reports i'm being given i think the only thing that makes more sense is joss whedon wants to make stefan wolf more of a threat and i think the other main point if it's true is joss whedon is working on more of the character development side which i don't really think is needed because with batman versus superman and man of steel superman already has a strong character development and so does batman in some extent obviously wonder woman's got her own like character development because she's had a standalone movie which does have some correspondence to the justice League movie as there will be some information from the blu-ray version of wonder woman which is like an epilogue that shows details of the mother boxes so although the wonder woman movie was a standalone movie it does have some significance in terms of the mother boxes and obviously cyborg this is technically his first time debuting in the dc universe so i can see why joss whedon maybe have a lot of say in changes changing the impact of cyborg in this movie and also maybe changing an impact of aquaman but i think aquaman's character would basically be developed by the Aquaman movie so the tone of Aquaman will be set by the Aquaman movie because obviously they know the Aquaman movie so they would have corresponded and obviously the Flash has been in Batman vs Superman and the Flash has also been in Suicide Squad cameo role when he had a little interaction with Captain Boomerang but I still can't see Joss Whedon's kind of input being that vital because you can't rewrite a whole movie in 12 weeks i know 12 weeks is three months but if you actually closely look into it it was a scheduling issue i mean obviously henry cavell's filming in new zealand and ezra miller's about to start filming fantastic beasts so it's just a scheduling issue that's why they're taking 12 week 12 weeks there's no massive kind of changes gal gadot wonder Woman's confirmed this also but you could be saying that they're keeping it hush hush because i don't want the fans to let the fans know that there's been massive rewriting but guys honestly i can't see this happening but i think it is fair for josh whedon to get writing credit as he has worked on the movie and it appears that he might be taking a bigger role in the kind of dc extended universe going forward but it all depends on Zack snyder what he wants to do but 
I still believe the initial kind of Zack Snyder's number one guy that he wanted wanted was Josh Whedon. So I don't believe that there's going to be that much changed. Obviously, things always get changed when it comes to reshoots, as the Warner Brothers studio does has does have the final say. Anyway, guys, let me know what do you think about Josh Whedon getting the credit? Does he deserve it? Do you think he's do you think he should get it? Has he changed the ending? Is there no longer dark side? Is Stefan Wolf getting a stronger position? Guys, let's have a conversation down below. Would love to know what you guys think. Are we going to get Deathstroke? Are we going to get Lex Luthor? Are we going to get Henry Allen? Are we going to get Reverse Flash? I want to know all your opinions down below, guys. That would be awesome. I will be doing a Justice League Funko Pop giveaway for the Flash. And if you've already got the Flash, where you can arrange a different thing, that will be on my next Justice League video, which I'll do in a couple of days. I will announce it there. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment if you want to, as that would be awesome. Just want to say thanks for all the love and support I've been getting on this Justice League videos recently. It's been awesome. I will catch you in another video, guys, very soon. Catch ya. Oh, hey,